Welcome to the Upkeep for Monday, August 12th, 2019. That's right. It's all the magic news you need in 10 minutes or less. Number one item is GP Minneapolis held this past weekend. That's right. It had 981 players. Notable because at GP Denver just a few weeks ago, there were very few, around yeah. 600, I want to say. So this is a bit higher than that, yep. which is good. But last year's GP Minneapolis, which was Corset Limited, not usually as hot as modern, no. uh, was 1,300. So there's a couple of things that could be at play there. Of course, a lot of people wondering what the impact of arena is on paper play, mm-hmm. the lack of coverage of Grand Prix, Magic yep. Fest, or perhaps that people just don't want to play modern in a whole town. They don't want to get gacked. You don't want to get gacked. And turns out, if you went to this tournament, the chances were quite high that you would be gacked right in the yes. face. In fact, Hogak won a uh, just Justin Plotcher. Congrats, Justin Plotcher. Yes. Won in a Hogak Mir final. <laughs> oh, good grief. Um, his build, as well as another, I think, in the top eight, had Hedron Crab. Yes. Which was their mirror breaker of all things. Wow, that's that's Just wild. a little Hedron Crab getting out there, doing some work. Um, there were five Hogak decks in the Holy top eight. Holy canola oil. Five plus mono red prowess piloted by Ryan Overture. All right, home tom boy. Um, burn and humans. Yeah, and this is an interesting thing because if you take a look at the Mythic Championship recently, mm-hmm. that was modern. A lot of people, you know, oh, only one Hogak deck in the top eight. But what you've got to remember is that they were also playing limited yes. at the Ma- Mythic Championship. So. so your ability to play limited did impact your ability to also make the top eight. <laughs> so Hogak, Hogak in a round. Yes. Uh, it was 19% of the day two Mythic. Game. Wow. There were eight of them in the top 16. Okay. Whew. So it's still a very large presence looming large over the field of modern. So the big question people are wondering is, well, we've got, you know, Magic Fest Vegas coming up. Yes. Magic Fest Birmingham, which is this coming weekend. Good point. Is so what's also gonna happen? modern. So that's modern. Magic Fest Vegas is modern. modern. There's two team modern tournaments in the coming weeks as well. Okay. So are we going to see an emergency ban? Aaron Forsyth says no. No, he says, quote, we aren't going to be emergency banning anything. There are scheduled BNR announcements. The next scheduled announcement is on 826. So get ready to de-sleeve all your Hogax post the uh, the 26th, <laughs> I think. I cannot yeah. say that for certain. Yeah, I feel like. But I think that we all feel it we all, in the air. We all feel it. It was like kind of a still open question, I think, after the Mythic Championship. But I think this event uh, has pointed, the signs are pointing to a ban. Yes, it is going to be shake the magic eight ball made. all things yes. look like a ban but it will not be banned before birmingham or vegas okay so Great that point. is something to note birmingham as we said is modern this coming weekend uh vegas is in two weeks that's so modern and then modern horizons limited yeah and if you want exciting. stay tuned to this space or our twitter uh at glhf magic because we're gonna do a meetup in vegas yeah we are with some people at the weird cards magic booth if you want to say hi to us get autographs that sort of thing we will be there more details coming on that yes Commander 2019 is fully previewed. It is available on August 23rd. There are some release notes in case you have any questions about the mechanics or just the mechanics of Commander in general because you're looking to get into it. Yeah, lots of really cool stuff for Commander Precon decks. We've talked about them on this show before and we're going to get some and we're going to pilot them. You can check out our YouTube, youtube.com slash goodluckhighfive for watching Megan and I battle those decks in the coming weeks. And you may be thinking to yourself, wow, preview season, it's done. But no, another one is just it never ends. around the river bend because Throne of Eldraine is coming out October 4th. So the pre-release is the end of September, what? which means that we are mere weeks uh, away from another preview season beginning. This is just wild. I feel like we're back to back to back to back previews. We, A yeah. lot of people are experiencing preview fatigue. Um, Remember to stay hydrated. Stay hydrated. <laughs> Perhaps purchase some blue light filter glasses. Yeah. So mm-hmm. that when you are Great looking point. at your computer, computer Great screen point. or your phone screen to see these previews. You know, you know take your time eyes are rested. to look at other things on the internet yes. that aren't previews. Or things that aren't on the internet. That's a great point. Put that one out take there. a bath, you know. Yes. You time. Just go go look at a park. Remember, you can always moderate your own preview season by ignoring it. There you go. <laughs> that being said, we love preview we do season love it. here. I and love I it. cannot wait for Eldraine. Yeah, I'm throwing a Veldrain. Super hyped. 
Yes, yes, yes. All right. So our last bit of news, actually light news week, is that Carlos Romao has won the Pearl Division core split of the Magic Pro League. So he's an auto day Dang. two at Mythic Championship 5 coming up in October. He was playing so, vampires. That was last week. Yep. The Pearl Division, which is eight players from the Magic Pro League, played. And during the week, you can catch streams of those players playing against one another. Yes. Um, I don't remember who is up in this round week. robin play. Yes, in round robin play. And then the four players with the best record go on to play in a top four. Yep. And as you mentioned, Carlos Romau beat, I want to say, Autumn Burchett, yep, Andrew Cuneo, and Marcio Carvalho. Yeah, so in this top four. Autumn Burchett brought Burn and made it yes. all the way, of course, as you said, to the finals versus the Vampires. Yes. Um, and Marcio are also on Vampires. Andrew Cuneo on Boros Feather. Ooh. So kind of cool there. Wow, very, very interesting. But big congrats to Carlos Romau because that is a huge prize. Yeah. To get that that Autumn advancement two. in the Mythic Championship. Dang. Like it is worth its weight in gold. Mm -hmm. Some other big news from the Pearl Division core split was Ben Stark's shirt on coverage. <laughs> it was very bad. <laughs> All I can say is that, like, uh, if you were a fan of Neapolitan ice cream, maybe oh, you'd be into it. That's great. That's a great point. But other than that, yeah, I don't know. Well, there you have it. All the magic news you needed this week. You can check out our full-length podcast, Good Luck High Five, at goodluckhighfive.com or anywhere fine podcasts are found. And support us. Throw us a buck or two on patreon.com slash glhfmagic. Good luck.